Oh, we at Walmart, and I met up with my friend Bojangles, and uh, we are going to get soda pops and bottles of water to go sell downtown for the 4th of July. -a. Okay. All right, well, please like and subscribe and share the video. All right. Anything you want to say? Oh, people, please like and subscribe and share. All right, please like and subscribe. Oh, yeah, let's go. Yep, what? What, what do you want to say? What's up? What's up? Have a nice day. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I think we should, should we either get an Alcafina or Pill Life. You think we should do the Pill Life? All right, let's do the peel life. What's the price this is five bucks. This is seven bucks. So I guess the peel life is cheaper. Uh, or we can get the uh, Walmart brand for three dollars. So he he we, he found some flowers out here by the river. And he put together this flower bouquet. Let's show the flower bouquet. Let's show the flower bouquet. Yeah. So do just crawl, crawl over the wall here and hand me this flower bouquet. Look at this flower bouquet. So cute. Where did he come up with that? You just did? Alright. I've been, I've been like seeing a bunch of Facebook posts on flowers. And then the fireworks look like thick flowers with floating in the sky. Uh, so what's up with all these stones in the water? Look at that. Somebody made a peace sign down there. I don't know. What do you know about them? Were you saying a friend of yours? Flowers because you can hide behind them. Okay. So, ah. Uh, but Jang was telling tell me about these stones in the water. His, his what your friend did it for his wedding or something. Um, I later, um, I later heard that um, somebody uh, actually like went in here before him and started it, and then he got the inspiration to uh, uh, carry it his own way. You know, like uh, artistic rendering of uh, work upon somebody else's. Uh, you know, like. Uh, I don't know what it was originally intended to be, but I know, uh, I know that, uh, okay. it was built out of the stones that came from this river. I'm not sure if the, ri the river stones were here in the first place or if they were like broken barriers to the walls that surround the cities. Yeah. But, uh, they do hold some energy too. And a lot of people have walked by and seen them and they, they have, there's a bunch of hearts and there's a peace sign and some other things. So, well, so his friend, he was saying how his friend made a bunch of hearts in the, on the peace sign, maybe as a way to propose to his girlfriend. And, uh, and then, you know, I don't know if he, if he did the whole thing about himself. It might have just started with the peace sign and he has the hearts to it, you know. Um, but he said, Bojango said he come out here all the time and, fix it you know because you like the way it look and it'd be cool if other people came out here and fix it that'd be cool we used to live on the island right down the stream yeah on the side of the bridge. Um, that's when we first went to the rainbow gathering us and like uh there's uh, a bunch of people i'm not gonna name because you know they're from grand rapids so and, uh, we took two cars and we went to the north ha new hampshire rainbow gathering like 10 years ago that was the first experience that we had as a family of driving and being uh, houseless on the road and going to be people that were cool and finding out that there is some humanity left in this world and not just, uh, you know, like uh, what other people has cast down before you that you have to walk in their shoes or not be accepted, that you're accepted whoever you are and whatever walk of life you're in. That you can see the true beauty in things without any kind of surrounding in your environment. Kind of like... Uh, kind of like this flower you know it has no pot and uh most 
people see the pot that the flower's in, or if a person has a flower, the first thing that they worry about is the pot that they're going to place it in, and they can't see the true beauty of the flower in front of their face. So, yeah. Well, today been an awesome day. We I sold every last water that I bought down here. I could probably even sold more. Uh, but I probably need the wagon. It would definitely a lot to carry water. Um, it's awful heavy. Michelle has he helped me carry the water. Thank you, Where Michelle. Where is all the water? We, we, we sold it all. Where's the bag? It's over there. What? It's over there. We, go, we come back for it. All right, we are over here, dumpster diving mission, trying to salvage the the last piece of from the little Caesars. That sucks. They threw the pizzas into a bag. What? They threw the pizzas into a bag. They would have even let us get the pizza. They would have keep it in the box. Oh, what's wrong with this world? They 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 sabotage the pizza. Just so we can eat it. No. Sad Why? piece of sabotages. <laughs> I bet there's like people that dumpster dive this place and like hit it up for so long that they started not throwing produce in the Aldi's dumpster and started moving the pizza out of the box. Into the bag. some hauls at the thrift store we got myself a pelican case oh my god these things are so expensive online but these are literally the one of the best suitcases you can get for traveling which is since i'm a traveler i definitely want to get a suitcase and my buddy got a risk game the world domination so i could dominate the world in all the travels around the world in my new pelican case hell yeah let's go and uh so yeah, you just throw it on the ground. Don't worry about it because this thing is like pretty much bulletproof. Probably not quite bulletproof, but thing is nice. All right, well please like, subscribe, share. They give me a 20%, 25% discount. So I only pay like 60 bucks for this. So boom. All right, we got soda pop and bottled water. We about ready to go sell it on the beach, man. And we got the wagon now. We we heading up, making making moves. 